students. I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to Statistics and Probability. Our lesson for today is all about computing the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. For us to learn how to obtain the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable, we do the following examples. The first example, find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the random variable x defined as the number of heads occurring after tossing two fair coins. Okay, so for example 1, find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the random variable x defined as the number of heads occurring after tossing two fair coins. So we have here the formulas. For the mean, we have the Greek letter mu is equal to the summation of uh, the product of the random the value of the random variable and its probability for the variance we have sigma squared is equal to the summation of the product of x minus mu squared and the probability of the random variable and for the standard deviation we just get the square root of the variance of t so in this example uh, nasagutan na natin ito in our, in my previous video so, ang possible outcomes na nakuha ay apat since it involved tossing a fair coin twice as the random experiment. So, ang mga possible outcomes ay dalawang T followed by TH, HT, and HH and then yung values ng ating random variable ay 0, 1, and 2. For us to obtain the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the random variable X, uh, kailangan natin tong table na to. So, as you can see, there are seven columns. Yung unang tatlong columns ay yung first column, the, the values of the random variable. Yung pangalawang column ay yung frequency or kung gaano kadalas nag-appear or kung ilang beses nag-appear yung random, yung value ng ating random variable. And then yung pangatlong column ay yung probability. So, ano nga ba yung mga ilalagay, mga ilalagay dun sa 4th, 5th, at yung pang-anim na column. So, isulat na natin doon sa first column yung mga values ni random variable. We have 0, 1, and 2. So, F yung frequency kung gaano kadalas nag-appear yung mga numbers na yan, si 0, 1, at 2 sa, uh, sa table na ito. As you can see, uh, nag-appear lang si 0 once, so ang frequency niya ay 1. Si 1 nag-appear siya dito twice. As you can see, this one and this one. Kaya ang ilalagay natin na frequency niya ay 2. Tapos yung number na 2, nag-appear siya doon sa table only once. So we write here 1. Kapag i-add natin yung column na yan, ang makukuha natin ay 4. So yan yung total number of possible outcomes. So for the probability, uh, alam naman natin na uh, the probability of event A is equivalent to the number of elements in A all over the number of elements in the sample space. So in this case, kung meron ka ng table na to, uh, kung may table na tayo na ganito, it's easy for us to obtain the probability. In what way? Yung frequency, yan yung ilalagay natin sa numerator. Tapos yung total na, ng lahat ng frequencies, yan yung na, uh, ilalagay natin sa denominator. So here, ang um, numerator ni probability ay 1 since 1 yung frequency niya all over. The total of uh, total number of possible outcomes or yung total ng column na ito which is 4. So alam natin na 1.4 is equivalent to 0 0.25. So, pangalawa, ang probability ng 1 ay 2 all over 4 or that is equivalent to 1 half or 0 0.50 or 0 0.5. Pangatlo, yung, variable, yung random variable na 2, we have, ang numerator niya ay 1. Since ang frequency niya ay 1, tapos ang kanyang denominator ay 4. And ang 1 fourth ay 0 0.25. Five. So, kung i-add natin ito, alam natin na ang total niya ay 1. 
So, para makuha natin yung mean, let's start muna sa mean. Kailangan natin i-multiply. So, take note, ang formula in finding the mean is mu is equal to the summation of the product of the random variable and its probability. In short, ang imumultiply natin dito ay yung first column tapos yung pangatlong column. X times the probability of X. So, 0 times 0 0.25 is 0. 1 times 0 0.5 or 0 0.50 ay 0 0.50. At yung pangatlo, we have 2 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.50. So, adding this, it will give us mu is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 1. So, therefore, ang ating mean ay 1. Okay? So, meron na tayong mean. Our mean here is 1. Ang next na kukunin natin ay yung value ng ating variance na ang formula ay summation of we have x minus mu squared multiplied by the probability of x. So, ang, unang, ang next na column, yung panglimang column, ang kukunin natin dyan ay yung square ng difference ni uh, random variable at ni mean. At yung panghuli ng column ay yung x minus mu squared, yung multiply natin siya kay probability of x. So, alam natin na ang ating mean ay 1 at ang ating random variables ay yung nandoon sa unang column. So, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 squared is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. For the last column, ang gagawin natin dyan, imumultiply natin itong panglimang column doon sa pangatlong column. So, 1 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.25. We have 0 0.5 times 0 is still 0. And then, 0 0.25 times 1 is 0 0.25. So, for us to obtain the variance, i-add lang ho natin itong mga values sa pang-anim na column. So, 0 0.25 plus 0 plus 0 0.25, we have 0 0.50. So, our variance is 0 0.50. Ayan. So, for us to obtain the Standard deviation, we just obtain the square root, we just solve for the square root of the variance. Here, ang nakuha nating uh, value ng ating variance ay 0 0.50. Solving this in our calculator, obtaining the square root of 0 0.5 or 0 0.50, we have 0 0.7071. So, since masyadong madaming numbers, we only consider 4 decimal places. So, therefore, our standard deviation here is 0 0.7071. Understood? For the second example, find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the random variable y defined as the number of non-defective laptops after choosing 3 out of 5 laptops in which 3 are non-defective and 2 are defective. So in example 2, we are still going to use the formula in finding the mean, variance, and standard deviation. Ang example na ito ay uh, nagamit na doon sa previous video ko about constructing probability distribution of a discrete random variable. So you can watch it para malaman ninyo kung paano nakuha yung mga possible outcomes at yung mga values ng kanilang mga yung value ng random variable y. So we have here the possible outcomes of choosing 3 laptops out of 5 
uh, laptops wherein yung limang laptop na yon it contains three non-defective and two defective laptops. So, from here, from this table, we can see that the values of our random variable are 1, 2, and 3. So, yung mga values na yan, ilalagay natin yan dito sa unang column ng ating table. We have 1, 2, 3. Kailangan itong table na ito para mas madali ang pag-calculate ng mean, variance, and standard deviation. So, for our frequency, ibibase natin ito kung ilang beses nag-appear yung mga numbers na nandito sa column na ito doon sa taas. So, ilang beses nag-appear si 1? We have 1, 2, 3. Tatlong beses. So, we write here 3. Ilang beses nag-appear si 2? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We write here 6. At ilang beses nag-appear si 3? Nakita natin na isang beses lang. Adding the second column, it will give us 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. Ito ngayon yung ilalagay natin na denominator ng ating probability. At ang mga numerators nila ay yung frequency. So, para makuha yung probability ni 1, uh, ang numerator ay 3 at ang denominator ay 10. 3 all over 10 or that is equivalent to 0 0.3. Para makuha yung probability ni 2, ang numerator ay 6 at ang denominator ay 10. That is equivalent to 0 0.6. Para makuha yung probability ni 3, ang numerator ay 1 at ang denominator ay 10. So, 1 all over 10 is equivalent to 0 0.1. So, para makuha yung uh, mean, kailangan nating i-times or i-multiply yung unang column doon sa ating pangatlong column. So, yan yung para makuha yung uh, mean or yung average or yung expected value. So, 1 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.3. 2 times 0 0.6 is 1.2. And 3 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.3. Kapag in natin itong lahat, uh, yan yung makukuha natin yung total. Yan yung matatawag natin mean. So, 3 plus 2 plus 3 is 8. We just copy the decimal point and then 0 plus 1 plus 0 is... One. So, therefore, the value of our mean is 1.8. Ang next na kukunin natin ay si variance. Ang kanyang formula ay the summation of uh, y minus mu squared times the probability of y. I used uh, y kasi ang ginamit nating random variable ay y. So, unahin muna nating hanapin yung square ng difference ni uh, y tapos ni mean so part na to y minus mu squared at yung kabuuan na doon sa huling column y minus mu squared multiplied by the probability of y so using our calculator para mas, madil, mas mabilis yung pagcompute 1 minus 1.8 which is the value of the mean is equivalent to negative 0 0.8 squaring that it will give us 0 0.64. So, we write here 0 0.64. Yung pangalawang column, we have 2 minus the mean, which is 1.8. We have 0 0.2. Squaring that, it will give us 0 0.04. So, we write here 0 0.04. At yung pangatlo, we have 3 minus 1.8. We have 1.2, squaring that, it will give us 1.44. So, we write 1.44 here. Ayan. So, para makuha yung mga ilalagay nating outputs dito sa pang-anim na column, kailangan nating i-multiply itong column na to doon sa pangatlong column or yung kay probability. So, using our calculator... We have 0 0.64 times this one, which is 0 0.3. It will give us 0 0.192. So, we write here 0 0.192. The next one, we have 0 0.04 times 0 0.6. 
it will give us 0 0.024 so we write here 0 0.024 at yung pangatlo na row we have 1.44 times 0.1 it will give us 0 0.144 0.144 Kapag in natin lahat ng mga numbers na nasa panghuling column, yan yung magiging variance natin. So, we have 0.192 plus 0 0.024 plus 0.144 It will give us 0 0.36 At kapag Kukunin natin yung square root niyan, it will give us 0 0.6. So, our variance is 0 0.36. Ito yung variance natin. At kapag in square root natin yan, para makuha yung para makuha yung value ng ating standard deviation, ang magiging output ay 0 0.6. Six. So therefore, our mean is 1.8, our variance is 0 0.36, and our standard deviation is 0 0.6. That is how we obtain the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. Okay? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more math videos.